In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add Google AdSense auto ads to your website. I've been running Google AdSense on bestroofbox.com, which by the way is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. Yeah, I've been running it over there since day one and I never used the Google AdSense auto ads. I just created my own ad unit, a little square one that sat in the sidebar and just showed you know the odd ad and that was it. And to be honest, it's not really generated much revenue at all, just a few dollars every single month. So I heard that auto ads was a great way to increase your revenue. So, you know, I thought, let's give it a go. It's really easy to set up Google AdSense auto ads. All you need to do is copy and paste a little bit of code into your website. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. And then Google basically takes care of the rest and it will decide where to put the ads on your site. Don't worry though, you still have control over where the ads show. So if Google decides to plaster ads all over your site, you can remove all the ones that you don't want to show and you know, keep your site looking neat and tidy and exactly how you want it to look. So that's enough intro. Let's get on the computer, get these ads set up. Okay, so I'm over at bestroofbox.com, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. I'm sure you've seen it before if you've watched any of my other videos. And the site is already running AdSense, just a very uh, basic ad unit, there it is. So yeah, well, let's add the AdSense auto ads. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> yeah, the AdSense auto ads and add a few more ad units. Uh, well, in fact, you know, Google will do that automatically for me and hopefully, that should increase the earnings from this site, which at the moment are pretty low. I've got AdSense open in this other tab here. You can see that last 30 days, two pounds 21, which I think would equate to around three dollars, maybe four dollars. Not a huge amount, not gonna get rich on that just yet. So let's try and increase that with these auto ads. So I just need to get a bit of code first off that I need to add to the site. So I'm gonna go into ads, within my AdSense account. There's a big banner now at the top, promoting it, that's what we need. We need this code here, so let's click Get Code. Now I'm gonna click Copy Code Snippet to copy the bit of code to my clipboard. And let's go back to the site. Now my site is already running a plugin that will help us do this. And if you've been following along with any of my other videos, then you may also have this plugin. The plugin is called, let me just show you, It's called Insert Header and Footers. There it is. That's the plugin we're gonna be using. If you don't have that plugin installed, then just you know come into Plugins, click on Add New, click it there or, or up here. And then you'd obviously just do a little search in the keyword box, insert headers. Oh, is it header? Anyway, it's this one here with the, the blue uh, icon image, 800,000 active installations is exactly what we need. So once you have installed it, there'll be a button obviously here that says uh, install now, click that and then click activate. Once you've done that within the settings area, you've got this section here, insert headers and footers. I already got a bit of code in here. I've got some AdSense code. What else have I got in here? And I've got my IE Bender, which is my cookie policy code. That's all in there too. And also my Google One link. Not Google One Link, what we're talking about, Amazon One Link code down here. So we've got that bit of code in the clipboard. I'm just gonna add it uh, to the header because that's where Google want you to add it, the header. So what I'm gonna do is paste it at the top of this box and I'm gonna remove this existing AdSense code. I recommend you do the same if you've got some AdSense code in there already, which you may have if you followed my earlier tutorial. Let's just take that out and then I'm gonna just paste it in. By the way, if you missed that, the AdSense code is this bit here. Yours will look pretty much the same if you've got it, just this number will be different. You wanna remove it from the closing script tag and paste in the new one like that. There we go, that's done, let's click save. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear my cache, my cache, however you like to say it. If you're running a caching plugin, I suggest you clear yours out too. And let's visit the site and just check that we haven't broken anything. No, it all looks fine. So let's go back to AdSense, we've done that, let's click done. If we scroll down, you've got a list of sites here, these are all the sites I've got running AdSense. 
I didn't realise I had so many. And there's bestroofbox.com. It says auto ads are off, so let's turn them on by clicking on the pencil over here. Google is now finding the best places for ads on my site, so let's give that a moment. Basically, we're gonna come up here, we're gonna tick this little switcher to on for the auto ads. I'm gonna leave that ticked as well to optimize my existing ad units. And then we'll have a look at these settings in a moment once it's done its thing. So this is the mobile layout. And we can see it's added a big chunky ad there and it's stuck an ad there uh, and all that kind of stuff. We'll look at the desktop. There we go. Now, let's go through these options because I don't want it to be you know, completely covered with ads. That's not the look I'm going for. So the first thing I'm gonna change is I don't want any ads on the homepage. I just want ads within the content. So let's go to page exclusions, click manage, click add exclusion, and then uh, go for this page only. It's already cho it's already selected the, um, the homepage, so that's fine. Let's click add. Very good. So that's it, no ads on there. Let's click through to a bit of content. Have a look at that. Google is just doing its thing. There we go. So again, we've got the big chunky ad there. That's my existing AdSense ad. It says that, <laughs> it knows what that is. It's dropped an ad in there, that's fine. I don't mind that within the content and anymore. And it's dropped an ad at the bottom, that's fine. I'm just not keen on this big fat ad at the top right now. Maybe later, it might be the best way to increase my revenue, but I just think it brings the look and feel of the site down a bit. So we can just click on this uh, dustbin, we'd call it in the UK, but I guess trash can if you're in America. <laughs> This bin here, let's click remove. And this change applies to similar pages across your site, perfect. Remove, and you want some feedback. I just don't like this placement. Um, I don't know why it wants to send some feedback, but you know, don't like the unit at the top. Send, okay. For some reason, it's still showing. Uh, it says add area moved, but it's still showing. I mean, let's just, it still says free. That's fine. There is free. I guess it's just not updated the preview. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see in a moment. Um, see, it says two areas removed there. Area one, area two. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. So they are removed, perfect. I don't want anchor ads. And by the way, I'm checking out the ads format here. I don't want match content, I don't want anchor ads, I don't want Viganetti, I don't want any of those things, so they're all off. And you can obviously adjust these as you see fit for your site. What's this one, ad load? All right, that's the number of ads. I think that's fine. Let's click apply to site. Success, changes can take up to an hour to reflect on your site. Okay, let's go and have a look. Let's just clear the cache one more time. Oh no, clear the entire cache. Let's have a look. That one's still working. Okay, I don't think the others are appearing just yet. As it said, it might take an hour. So through the power of video editing, let's jump to the future. Okay, so we're now in the future from where we were before. And in fact, quite a bit of time has passed. It did say it would take about an hour, but it took quite a bit longer than an hour for the ads to start showing. So if your ads aren't showing yet, just give it a bit of time. I haven't got to the point where I actually sent a message to Google, but I don't think they've done anything. I think I just had to wait a little bit longer. So look, there we go. There is one ad there, been dropped in. I mean, not quite sure if that is the right spot because it's kind of dropped it uh, uh, like right below the heading and thing. I'm kind of at against ads in a way. <laughs> that one doesn't look too bad, that one looks all right. Yeah, I am kind of against ads, but I guess they're a necessary evil, aren't they really? And they've dropped another one in there, and and there, that one's okay. And obviously depending on the length of your content, depends on how many ads you get. Now, they didn't drop one there, which is what uh, showed on the preview, and I kind of like that one, but I guess maybe it's too far down the page for them or something, uh, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, we're all working. One other thing to note is it did 
show that big ad at the top. You know, the one that I turned off in here. So I just basically came in here and just removed it again. I don't know if I hadn't done it properly earlier. Uh, and I also made sure that I'd done it on both the mobile and the desktop. So, you know, you can click these little buttons up here to to show the different sites. It's taking ages now, isn't it? Oh, there we go, yeah. So I made sure, yeah, it was turned off on here. Uh, which it is, if we have a look. And on here, and it, yeah, it's not showing on the preview. But yeah, when it first started, that ad was showing, so I just came in and did it again. But other than that, we're all done. I'll obviously keep an eye on it, review it, decide whether I want as many ads as I do. Let's just take a look at one other. Oh, no, that's what we're looking at. One other article. Let's see how it looks. See, it keeps dropping that one below the heading. I may tweak that. Of course, any changes that I do, I will uh, let you know in the next update. So, we're all done. That brings the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Do leave me a comment below. I read all the comments I get and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face up there. Did used to be an eagle, but now it's my face. And if you'd like to check out my blog channel, click on my other face that's appeared up there. And there's a couple more videos chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.